Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will explore further web applications inside of Visual Studio 2019. We will precisely look at progressive web applications. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. A progressive web application, PWA, is usually a single page application that uses a modern browser APIs and capabilities to behave like a desktop application. So Blazor WebAssembly is a standard based client side web application platform. So it can use any browser API, including the PWA APIs. The PWA as in progressive web application APIs required for these capabilities. So with the progressive web application, you can, you can work offline and load instantly, independent of your network speed. You, it can be run on its own window, not just a browser window. It's being launched from a host operating system start menu and it can also be in the dock or home screen it can be it can receive a push notification from a backend server even while the user isn't using the app it can automatically update in the background so rather than just talking too much let's get to it then so this is how we actually get started or we get we start with it so First, so we open the Visual Studio installer, so we just make sure that we've got all the necessary plugins. So basically, we've got to make sure that we install the ASP.NET and web, app, web, web development. So if you haven't, you can check this box here and you download and install it. So once you've got that bit sorted out, then you can come inside the Visual Studio. So we come inside a new project. So we open the new project dialog here. So inside the project type here, so we can scroll down, select web. So this will actually reduce the number of results. So here, as you can see, we've got a Blazor application. So this template, this project template, this is a project template for creating Blazor applications that run on a server in an ASP.NET Core, ASP Core application or in a browser on WebAssembly. These templates can be used to build a web application with rich dynamic interfaces. So if, if you see this Blazor application, then you, check, you click on it and then we go to the next. So here you can configure the project details by setting the project location or the solution location, the, the project name and whatnot. We're not gonna look too much into that. So we click on the create. So here we get the, the Blazor dialog. So in this scenario, obviously we have two options. The first one is to create a Blazor server application. And then the next bit is to create a Blazor web assembly application. So this is where we actually need to be focused on, obviously. So here we can configure it to for HTTPS or we can just uncheck the box not to use the HTTPS. So here, as you can see, there's a box for progressive web application. So, so in this video, obviously we, we're building a progressive web application. So we have to check on this box here. So, we select the web assembly and we check on this box and we create. So as you can see here now, we've got the project created. So as you can see, it's pretty much the usual .NET Core web application. So we've got the, the WW root which contains our, our resources, our images, CSS and whatnot. And then we've got um, the pages which contains the razor pages for the for the um, for the project. So here we've got a simple counter dot razor. So as you can see, it's actually written in uh, C sharp razor. So basically, 
most of the code is written in C sharp, but it will be able it will be able to work on the browser regardless using the web assembly. So so when when visiting an app created using the PWA template or this template, yeah. So users have the option of installing the application into their OS start menu or dock or home screen. The way this option is presented depends on the user's browser. When using desktop Chromium based browser such as the Edge or Chrome, an add button appears within the URI bar. So, after, so we look we look at all of that later on. So I will just I also speak briefly about the offline support. So by default, application created using the or created using the PWA template options have support for running offline. So a, a user must visit the app while they are online. The browser automatically downloads and caches all of the resources required to operate offline. So as I've talked a lot, so what I'm going to do is just going to run it so we can see what actually comes out. So you can run it by clicking on the F5 or by clicking on this button here. So obviously the first run might take a while, but obviously the next, the next ones should work fine. So as you can see here now, we've got, we've got, um, the debug started. So as you can see here now, we've got this simple app running. So what is so cool about the PWA is it can run offline just like a desktop application. So you don't really need to be online to be able to run it. So once the whole the whole data is cached onto your local browser. You'll be able to just do most of the work without obviously connecting back and forth with your server or your service. So as you can see here now, it is not, it's not really complicated. It's, very, it's a very simple stuff. So there's one more thing that I need to show you. So if you look here, so we've got the main layout, they're all in, in Razor. So this is, this is just a simple, so the about, if you, can, if you can see, we've got this about here. So that's the navigation and this is the about page. So we can also look at the navigation menu. So here, this is where we've got a Blazor app too. And we've got all the, the other stuff. So, as you can see here, it is very simple to get yourself started. Obviously, this video was all about getting started with a um, progressive web application. So, I, I hope from here you, you, you can uh, explore further and build on your knowledge. So, I, um, I'll leave this video f for here for now. So basically, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do, because I've got lots of videos coming up. So wherever you are, have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, and stay peace, blessed. Bye-bye.